project for Awesome 2015. And you really want to make the world a better place, but you've got no money. What are you going to do? Here are some things you can donate to charity that aren't cash. And Blogging. You can donate your clothes. Make sure you're only donating clothes, shoes, and accessories that are in good condition. If you want to donate that dress because it's just not your style anymore, that's perfect. But if that shirt has so many holes in it that you can't work out which one to put your arm through anymore, no, don't don't donate that one. Clean out your closet and donate anything from this season that you haven't worn or next season that you probably won't. You can donate your time. Charities always need volunteers, whether it's working in an op shop, doing fundraising or volunteering specialist skills you might have. Most charities will have ways to volunteer listed on their website. So pick your favorite charity and give them your time. You can donate your body. In a very literal sense, you can donate your body by becoming an organ donor, which can help save a lot of lives. So I recommend everybody do it. But while we're still here and breathing, there are still bits of you that you can donate. For instance, your blood. Here's me giving blood this week at the Australian Red Cross. One blood donation can save up to three lives and it doesn't hurt that much. If you're incredibly lazy like me and haven't had a haircut in three years, you can also donate your hair. There are various charities set up all around the world to help make human hair into affordable wigs for kids with alopecia. I'm giving my hair to Variety, the children's charity, and you can find the links in the doobly-doo. If you're interested in donating your hair, the ponytail you donate needs to be at least 30 centimeters long, ideally 35. For scale, here's my hair next to a measuring tape. This is centimeters, and for you non-metric people, this is inches, so I'm at about 18 down there. From up here and here it is next to a red London phone booth and here it is next to an Icelandic glacier it's well traveled hair what can I say your hair should be clean and dry in a ponytail fastened all the way down and sent off as soon as you chop it off don't keep it in a cupboard for three years that's creepy as an optional extra to make sure your hair makes the best quality wig you can swap out your shampoo and conditioner for all natural products and avoid using heat to style or dry your hair for about a month beforehand <laughs> So if you're strapped for cash this project for awesome, look into other ways to support your favourite charities. Here's me chopping off my ponytail. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> there goes that ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a before and after. So before and after. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this on the Project for Awesome live stream, oh my god, hi. I'm dedicating this video to Variety, the children's charity, who are going to make a wig out of this. The wigs they make go to kids who have alopecia, which is an autoimmune disorder. Alopecia basically means your immune system doesn't recognize your hair follicles as being part of your body and it attacks them. It can lead to spot baldness, baldness on the entire head, and sometimes baldness on your entire body. The wigs that Variety make go to families that might not be able to afford wigs otherwise and they can help restore self-esteem and self-confidence to kids with alopecia and just let them be kids. In addition to giving my hair, I've also got a fundraising page which I'll link below in the doobly-doo. So if you do have any spare cash and you want to help out this fantastic cause, please donate. I hope you have a fantastic project for awesome and as always... Love. Hate. Troll. Comment and talk about hair. This is going to make a wig. Woo! It used to be like there. That's insane.